Remote Desktop is a nifty little Windows feature that allows you to remotely connect to another PC and manage it as if you were physically at the console. If you want to know how to set up Remote Desktop, I've linked some articles in the description below to teach you how. This video, however, is about a common problem that crops up while using Remote Desktop. When connecting to another machine, just about all keyboard actions are transmitted to the remote machine. For example, pressing Enter, typing, pressing the Windows key and so on. However, that's not the case for some key combinations, in particular, Control, Alt and Delete. When you press Control, Alt, Delete while logging to the remote computer, instead of sending the key combo to the remote machine, it instead performs the actions on the local computer. This was actually intentional by Microsoft, because there are many cases where you may not want that to be sent to the remote machine. So, by default, Control, Alt, Delete will only work for the local computer. So how do you perform this action on the remote computer? It's pretty easy actually. In order to send Control Alt Delete to the remote PC, just press Control Alt End instead on the local machine. It's really that simple. But what about multiple RDP sessions? For example, Computer A is remotely connected to B and B is connected to C. In this case, you have to load up the on-screen keyboard on the final machine C. You can do that by running osk.exe. Just press Windows and R, type in OSK and hit enter. Now on your host machine A, press and hold the Ctrl and Alt keys on your physical keyboard and then press the delete key on the on-screen keyboard. You can also open up the on-screen keyboard on computer B and then type Ctrl Alt End, which will send Ctrl Alt Delete to computer C. These are some fast and easy fixes. If you want to see even more useful keyboard shortcuts for remote desktop, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.